At Peter Mac, we are here to support you. We understand that as a cancer patient, you may face many challenges and uncertainties. One challenge you may face is blood clots. In this video, you will learn what a blood clot is, where a blood clot can happen in your body and the signs and symptoms, share ways you can help prevent blood clots and how a blood clot can be treated. What are blood clots and how do I know if I have one? Blood clots are clumps of blood that have been changed from a liquid to a gel. This gel blocks your blood vessels in your legs or arms and slows the normal flow of blood. A blood clot in your legs or arms is called deep vein thrombosis. Blood clots in the legs or arms can cause swelling of your affected limbs, pain or tenderness not caused by an injury. Skin that is warm to touch, red or a different colour. A blood clot in the legs or arms can break off and travel to the lungs. This is called pulmonary embolism and it can be life-threatening. You may have difficulty breathing, experience chest or upper back pain that worsens with a deep breath or cough and you may feel dizzy. If you experience any of these symptoms, call triple zero or go to your closest emergency department. Why are people with cancer at risk of developing a blood clot? All cancer patients are at risk of developing a blood clot. Here are a few reasons. Cancer itself can lead to blood clots. Some cancers have a higher risk than others, such as cancer in your pancreas, womb, lung, stomach, kidneys, and blood cancers such as myeloma and lymphoma. Treatment for these cancers can include hospitalisation, surgery, chemotherapy, catheters, which are small tubes placed in the veins to administer treatments, all of which may also increase your risk of blood clots. Other risk factors may include a previous blood clot, a family history of blood clots, hospitalisation for illness or major surgery, serious medical conditions such as heart and lung diseases or diabetes, sitting too long, especially with your legs crossed, extended bed rest, being overweight or having obesity and smoking. What can you do to prevent blood clots? There are many things you can do to reduce the risks of developing blood clots. If you are in hospital, you will be offered a low-dose daily injection of a blood thinner, also known as an anticoagulant. You may be offered compression stockings to wear on your legs. Your treatment team will work with you to find the best option. Other things you can do whilst in hospital or at home include moving your feet up and down whilst lying or sitting, taking short walks as often as you can. Stretching your body and drinking plenty of water will help you prevent blood clots. What happens if you develop a blood clot? If you develop a blood clot, your doctor will prescribe you a higher dose of a blood thinner. Blood thinners are available as an injection or a tablet to treat blood clots. Your treatment team will work with you to find the best option. You will need to take the blood thinner for three to six months to treat your blood clot and sometimes longer to prevent your blood clot happening again. Will a blood clot affect your cancer treatment? In a few cases, a blood clot may lead to delays in your treatment. However, your treatment team can successfully treat a blood clot when diagnosed and often your cancer treatment can continue as planned. Your treatment team will work with you to reduce any disruptions to your treatment plan. For more information, contact your treating team at Peter Mac via the switchboard on 03 8559 5000.